Well, thanks very much for coming out, and it's really a pleasure to be here. Ottawa is my hometown, so it's always kind of special to come back to Ottawa. This novel, The Headmaster's Wager, is about a number of things, and I'll begin just by giving you the flavor and then give you a short reading. It is a novel about the Chinese diaspora, and at the start of the 20th century, life was not easy. In fact, it was quite difficult for uh, for many people in China, especially in the South. And um, in the South, people often left to seek the gold mountain abroad, as do many of the characters in this book. The second thing that the book is about is that it's about gambling and desire and the things that we want. I'll say not too much more. The third thing is that it's about war. And certainly, the 20th century in Asia um, the entire world has been shaped by wars, and most people are not combatants in war, and yet that does not diminish the impact that war has upon their lives. As the band began to play the easy three-beat rhythm of a waltz under the watchful eyes of the priests and nuns, Percival finally managed to summon the courage to approach Cecilia, resplendent in her peony-patterned gown. He crossed the now vast dance floor and managed to force out the words he had rehearsed. I am Chen Pei Su. Will you dance with me? She replied, didn't priests give you an English name? After a moment, she rescued him from his stunned inability to speak. She said, it's Percival, isn't it? <clears throat> she lifted his chin with a fingertip, the shock of her touch coursing through to his toes. The Japanese invaded Hong Kong in December 1941, and by overrunning it in 18 days, demonstrated that it was not the impregnable fortress that the British had promised. Some LaSalle students volunteered as orderlies at St. Stephen's Hospital, and only one returned. He told Percival that the Japanese had shot the doctors, tortured the patients, violated the nurses, and burned the hospital down. The school Christmas dance was canceled, and the British surrendered on Christmas Day. Though some of Percival's friends asked him to join them when they stole into the hills to fight with the Gangju resistance, Percival stayed in his room, grateful that his landlady had such heavy furniture with which to barricade the door. <clears throat> 